My name is Ann Krogan and I'm Studio 15. I was juried in in June last year in the medium of acrylics, which is my primary medium today. But I also teach classes in watercolors, oils and acrylics and drawing out of my studio, uh, teaching pastels and charcoals as well. I've been interested in art all of my life. It's, I've been doing art since I was knee-high to a grasshopper, I guess, so to speak. It's, it's always been a part of my life. I love art. I, even as a little kid, I was drawing and painting and I was making things. I was always making stuff as a kid. And my mother was really good about encouraging me to do that kind of stuff. Even in high school, I was buying Play-Doh. Kind of, kind of, sounds kind of crazy, buying Play-Doh in high school because I wanted to be able to create and I was always drawing with colored pencils or uh, Crayolas even. Uh, I was a little girl that knew all the names and the colors of the Crayola box. So I did my undergraduate studies at UMSL, University of Missouri, St. Louis, and then I did my graduate studies at Champaign-Urbana. After graduate school, I came back to St. Louis and I've been teaching since 1989 in St. Louis always part-time and I always had a full-time job and then 15 years ago I quit my full-time job to pursue teaching full-time. If it meant I had to go to five different locations to do it, I was going to get to teach full-time. That's my calling. That's what I look at it as my calling. I started teaching full-time and I was at five different locations and primarily through the St. Louis Community College District. When I got juried in here and I got this beautiful space to work with, I now have a lot of students that are at this location. So now I'm going to be staying here at the Foundry and having my classes mostly out of the Foundry. I'll be here five days a week working classes in my studio and doing my own artwork as well. A lot of my students uh, kept telling me about the Foundry. I didn't pursue it because I was at the college at that time. A year ago when I found out that there was openings here, I wanted to come and see what it was a little bit more about. People have been telling me I should be in a studio here for a long time, and I think this has been a fabulous place to be. I love being here at the Foundry. The atmosphere here is so good. Uh, you, you've got the enrichment of things going on downstairs. You've got the art being shown downstairs in the galleries. You've got openings going on. You've got events here. Um, and just having the interaction with other artists uh, in the studios I think is really good. And I like having the people coming into the studio. You know, if visitors coming by and asking questions. I've worked in a vacuum before where you just stay at your own home and you're working out of your own space. And it's good for some people and they like that, but I need that interaction. I like people. I'm a people person, as people tell me. <laughs> a lot of my students will tell other people about my classes, and I get a lot of students, new students, based on the word of mouth. Um, some of my students are coming from my classes that I've dropped at the college, but um, most of them are coming now from new people just visiting. Uh, some people wander in the studio and they'll say, oh, this looks like it'd be a lot of fun. And we start talking and I find out what they want to do and what their skill level is. And I try to help them to see that, yeah, they can do it. People will come and say, I can't draw a stick figure. Sure you can, you can draw a stick figure. Oh, I can't draw a straight line. Sure you can, I'll give you a ruler, <laughs> you know? But I'm trying to help them um, see that they can do it. Because I'm a firm believer you can do it. It's just a matter of learning skills. I can't play the piano, but if somebody taught me how, I probably could. Now I won't be on stage, but I could probably play it to the point where I can understand it and I can enjoy it, okay? And that's what I try to help them do. I love painting in any medium, quite truthfully, because paint is paint. But acrylics is my perfect medium because it dries very quickly and I'm able to layer many layers of colors over top of each other in order to develop these real rich layers of colors. So you, even in the 
darkest of areas, you see this beauty of color uh, coming through. You'll see multiple colors coming through in my work. They're very spirit oriented because my paintings are my relationship with God. When you're driving down the highway and you see that light coming through the sky after a storm, and that to me is God's grace. And so what I'm doing a lot of times, light is very important in my work. It's God, it's God in my work. And then the darkness is the world. God is in the paintings and overpowering the darkness. I like that level of the atmosphere and the richness that I can create with, with the light and the darks in my paintings. I think it's my calling, I think it's my blessing that I get to do my art and do my teaching at the same time. The way that you would get a hold of me is uh, you can reach me by my email address or my phone number. My email address is a.crogan, C-R-O-G-H-A-N, at sbcglobal.net. And my phone number is 314-258-3107. Or come on by the Foundry and, and meet me in my studio. I'd love to talk to you and, and find out what you want to do and where you want to go with your art.